this is a video I put together to give you some tips for a multi-dog household. Um, I've recently introduced um, an older collie to the household. I've got, well, he's not older really, but he's not a puppy. Ragnar's come when he was 10 months old. And I already had Aria, who is my established bitch, um, who is now approaching three. Aria is quite a sensitive character. Um, and Ragnar is... He is in a way, but he's also quite like laid back in a way. He doesn't have as many quirks as Aria. Uh, but I did know that I was going to have to take this really steadily. And as I was following the process that I would need to follow to try and make life harmonious together, I thought, actually, this might be quite useful to other people. So I managed to film it at every stage. So I'm going to briefly talk you through this um, little video that I've made. Um, First off, I can say that Aria appreciates gentle play. She doesn't like being bowled over. She does not like being picked up. Ragnar, on the other hand, likes rough play and he would like to put his head under her belly and lift her up like that. Now, I could see straight away that that wasn't going to be something Aria enjoyed. So I've been working on an interrupter to call them out of play promoting a karma behaviour and then letting them go back to play. And I'm going to put some clips in now of their play and how I bring them out of it and then how I let them go back to it. And through this process, actually, I've now had him for four months. He's now learning Doggies. what appropriate play is, whereas before I think he would have just hassled her to the point she hated him. And she is now starting to instigate play with him, which is really, really yeah. nice. Um, so that's like their interactions. Part of that has meant that I've needed some management in place. So I have at times put Ragnar in a pen to give Daddy. him a bit of time to calm down and let Aria calm Ragnar. down. And then I've brought them back out again. Uh, it's better to interrupt things and allow things to diffuse than Ragnar. just to let things escalate to the point yeah. where something kicks off. I'm not all about that. I certainly don't think they would just sort it out between themselves. It's my role Daddy. to help their trust in each other Aria. develop without incident. Ragnar. Another thing that I found is really useful is teaching your dogs to take turns. When you have more than one dog, they can become quite reliant on each other, but they can also really want your attention. And actually, they need to learn that sometimes I'm working one dog and sometimes I'm working the other. And that doesn't mean you need to kick off. So I'm going to share a clip now. The I first clip ready. I'm showing Boy, is Ragnar. of them Boy. learning to watch each other work. Oh, yeah, and I'm having to keep things fairly sedate at the moment to keep everyone oh. under threshold. But you'll see Ragnar is in a pen and Aria is working. And then you'll see me swap the dogs. Aria, so you can see Aria then in the pen girl, and Ragnar working. Now that's been really Get helpful. It. And as time goes on, I'm going to build that up eventually to Mine. each dog herding and the Get other dog right being down. able to watch without incident, because that's what they'll have to do at some point. Get Another game that I've played is the name game. The name game's really good for teaching impulse control, but also for teaching them to take turns. It's really easy, and I'll show you this in there. On one Ragnar. hand, I'm saying Aria and feeding her, and on the other hand, Aria. I'm saying Ragnar and feeding him. If the wrong Ragnar. dog goes for the food, they won't get it, so they learn to rock back and take their turns. Aria. Feeding times. This can be a flashpoint. Ragnar. Food, as well as the people, are a valuable resource, so... I always feed separately at the moment. Ragnar's going to go in his bit and eat. Aria gets to eat freely. And I let them finish their meals and I'll take the bowls away. Over time, as, as with all my other dogs, they'll be able to eat next to each other without incident. But what I don't want is Aria to, uh, Ragnar to like gobble all his up and then him to go and push Aria out the way and take hers. So feeding, that's really, really important. Teaching a calm behaviour, teaching your dogs to be calm around each other, that's also important, especially when you've got two collies, flipping neck, that's a lot of power in one run. So teaching them to settle on cue has been really, really helpful. In the first clip I'm showing you here, um, I am working them both at the same time. They're in quite close proximity, they have no issues around guarding, so that was fine. But you'll notice the rate of reinforcement is quite high. In this second video, you can see that 
they've actually learned to be calm around each other, which is amazing. So this was a good few months. This was, I think I'd had him three months by this point. And now Arya's settled on her bit and Ragnar's settled on his bit, both next to me. You might see a blanket there. I actually was a bit poorly when I filmed that. <laughs> I don't often sit still for that long. So to sum up then, um, teaching them calm behaviours around each other, teaching them to take turns, but also other things that I haven't quite covered in detail in this video, such as the, having the time to work them separately because promoting independence is, is really important. Obviously, you've got to accept there's going to be a management side to it for a while. So using baby gates, puppy pens, um, whatever you need to do that's kind, fair and effective and doing the training side of it. I mean, having two dogs can be loads of fun or even more than two, but it can also be a big headache. So making sure that you've got the infrastructure in terms of space, management and all of that in place, and then making sure that you've got the time to train them because they will need their own independent training. Um, so yeah, I just thought those tips might be helpful for you. Okay, thanks. Bye.